guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video just talking about like my favorite YouTubers, favorite podcasts, and favorite books as of right now. So if you are wanting some recommendations for YouTube, podcasts, or books, keep watching. Okay, so we're going to start with books because I feel like a lot of people won't be very interested, so I just want to get it out of the way. These are some of the books I just recently got and that I... Um, that I thought were good. So the first one is We Needed to Talk, and I got most of the, I got the first three recommendations from a YouTuber called Kenzie Elizabeth, and this one's called We Need to Talk, and it's how to have conversations that matter, and I'll just give you like a brief, um, description of it. It is, okay, it says, today most of our communication from behind electronic screens and studies show that Americans feel less connected and more divided than ever before. And the only way forward, says Headley, is to start talking to one another. And we need to talk. She outlines the strategies that have made her a better conversationalist and offers exceptional, actionable steps anyone can take to improve their communication skills. So yeah, they're just like, is a really good book in talking about communication and how to carry a conversation, which is just something that I think we should all learn about and be educated on. So the next one is called Friends with Sinners. This is actually written by a pastor called named Rich Wilkerson Jr. And I have listened to his podcast. It's called Vo Church, and it's just like all their sermons that they give in Sunday, and it's it's amazing. I absolutely love what he has to say. So yeah, this book is. It pretty much just says, discovers the transforming power of a deep friendship with Jesus. And it says, you'll discover a different Jesus, a Jesus who will radically change the way you see God, yourself, and others. And Jesus who will never give up on you, never stop loving you. He wants you to know him, to love him, and to be loved by him. Here's a life-changing look at how much Jesus wants to be your friend. And I guarantee that you, when you fully understand the power of this message, suddenly life will look different. Everything will change and you will enter the most satisfying experience imaginable. Growing, changing from the inside out until you become an amazing testimony to the transform, transforming power of friendship with Jesus. So yeah, I just thought it would be a really interesting book. And yeah, it was good. Okay, next one is called Faith Forward Futures by Chad Veach. I don't really know how to say the last name. This is what it looks like. And it, this description is, are you disappointed in your life? Do you feel like you'll never accomplish anything remarkable? If you're not, you are in perfect place for God to enter with his plan. In fact, your disappointments and failures are merely minor setbacks preceding a major comeback. The powerful Bible teaching and practice guides. Beach invites you to stop limiting to small responsibility, dismiss the distractions of regrets, and redefine success by joining God. So, yes. Another really good book that I like. These are all, like, really religious books, and I'm sorry if you're not, like, into that, so I'm almost done. Is this book by Sadie Robertson? If you don't know her, her dad is on Duck Dynasty. She is an incredible, um, just person. But I really like the um, I don't know if they're sermons exactly, but she like she gives motivational speaks, which like are related to God, so it's kind of like sermon. But I loved her. Like I saw some of them on YouTube and Instagram, and she came out with this book. I think this is her second book. It's called Live Fearless, and it's really good. It's just a call to power, passion, purpose, and it talks about all these things. And she just had some really great points in it, and I highly recommend this. Um, so this said more, and Liz Fearless, a call to power, passion, purpose. Best-selling author Sadie Robinson shares her story of overcoming anxiety and fear. She battles with insecurity, compassion, comparison, and isolation, just like many of us do. And she went on a journey of transformation that has left her living a fearless life. As you read through these pages, you'll discover how you can embrace a fearless life, too. So, it's really good. Another book, which is very basic, is just The Sun and Her Flowers. I loved it. It was really good. If you're into Visco, very good Visco picture times that you can steal, you know, you know. Um, I always saw this, like, quotes on Visco, and I was like, dang, that went off, sis. So I read it, and it was really good. It's by Rupi Carr. She's a very well-known author. So those are for the um, books. Alright, so now on to podcasts. I'm such a podcast listener. Like, I started listening to a podcast, like, last year, and I was like, oh, okay, cool. And then I found podcasts that I'm in love with, and I only listen to podcasts. Like, when I'm with friends, I'll listen to music in the car, and then once I get out, I'm going to listen to a podcast. So, here are the ones I'm listening to. Mood with Lauren Elizabeth. 
And I have them all pulled up, so I just thought I would give you, like, their description of it. So it says, Tune in weekly with personality and entrepreneur Lauren Elizabeth as she dives candidly into her crazy life as a Midwestern girl trying to fit in Los Angeles. Fall in love with her passionate advice, undeniable humor, and knowledge of all on all things that don't matter but girls care about. Get the inside scoop on hot trends, gossip, dating, and other topics that is a guaranteed degree Lauren probably would have finished school. No matter what her mood, you'll get a new episode every Wednesday. I absolutely love Lauren Elizabeth, her podcast. I'm literally at the gym working out, and I'll listen to her podcast, and I'll be laughing out loud. And it's so embarrassing because one time this girl was walking by, and I started laughing. I'm like, no, I was not laughing at you. Like, I'm just listening to a podcast. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so the next one is The Morning Toast. So I listened to The Morning Toast because Lauren Elizabeth kept talking about them. So I finally gave it a listen, and I, like, binge. Like, for oh, an entire weekend, that's all I was doing. In the shower, I listened to the morning toast, getting ready, I listened to the morning toast. I listened to like 10 episodes. So, I'll give you the description. Take a bite out of the morning toast weekdays at 10.30 a.m. with girl with no job and Jackie O live on Facebook and YouTube. Okay, that's not a description. Pretty much, it's like, kind of like E! News, like how it delivers like pop culture news and it's in the morning and it's these two sisters and they are so funny. Claudia has me dead all the time and I just love her voice and I, I'm obsessed with it. The next one is Gals on the Go and that is with Daniel, Carolyn, and um, Brooke Michio. I'm a really big fan of Daniel so that's why I know her name first. So their description is, hosted by influencers and students, Daniel Carolyn and Brooke Michio, you'll find a mix of entertainment from tips on being productive to stories of all their travels and adventures while being a full-time student. Enjoy interviews with other YouTubers, college students, and other professionals they find fit for the show. You will also hear audience questions answered weekly on topics such as school, traveling, being an influencer, college life, being productive, and oh, so much more. So that's Gals and Go. And the one that really got me started is I Love You So Much by Kenzie Elizabeth. And her description is, if I can find it, welcome to the Kenzie Elizabeth podcast hosted by lifestyle blogger Kenzie Elizabeth. On this show, you'll find interviews with influencers, artists, authors, experts, entrepreneurs, bloggers, and thought, and thought leaders. This podcast starts as a guide to branding, relationships, productivity, mental health, and overall living the best possible life. And one that I just really started getting into, I've only seen like three or two episodes, is Kaylin's Coffee Talk. So I used to watch this YouTuber like a really long time ago named Kaylin, and I just found her podcast, and it's it was really good. So um, I'll give you her description. An upbeat and uplifting podcast to start your morning or wind down your afternoon with covering everything from wellness, mental health, mental health and learning to live your best life free from self-judgment and doubt. That is that. Those are the podcasts I've been into lately. It's I love podcasts. I don't know. It's just a good way to start your day. I literally listen to the podcast on my way to school today. Okay. So now on to YouTubers. First one, so shocking, Maggie McDonald. I literally talk about her all the time. But I, I love her and I don't know what else to say. I don't like have to defend myself anymore. I love her. She's amazing. I don't know why, but I'm obsessed with her and I love her. Okay. Next, Daniel Carolyn. She just is like a college student. Really fun to watch. I like her vibe. Jeffree Star. If you don't know Jeffree Star, kind of crazy. He's a makeup artist. So funny. And yeah, I also put out James Charles. You guys, even if you don't like James Charles, you have to admit, he is so successful. He's like... 20, he's 20, that's my brother's age, and he is a millionaire, or maybe not a millionaire, but he has a lot of money, he started his own business, his own brand, and he was on, like, I have been described to him since he was, um, like, the first week that his CoverGirl commercial came out, like, I saw that, I was like, that is the best commercial ever, I literally recorded it and saved it, just so I could go back and watch it whenever I wanted, and I found his channel, he only had two videos up at the time, and I subscribed, and, like, I was his homie since day one, so I like Jim Charles. And then I put David Dobrik just because, like, he's really funny. Okay, I also put Maddie Woods. She is a YouTuber. Um, she's not, like, small, but she just started out, like, last year, I think. She's a nurse, and I want to be a nurse, and it's fun to see, like, that lifestyle and how she's living and still doing YouTube. So, yeah. Kenzie Burke, friends of Maggie McDonald. She's doing food combining. She was really big in YouTube, like, a couple months ago because 
everyone was doing food combining by follow her on Instagram and I subscribe to her channel. She only posts a couple videos a month. But yeah, I like her. And Kenzie Elizabeth, I talked about her. Really fun. Love her vibe. Very funny. And then Kenzie Meads, she is a Maggie McDonald's younger sister's friend and she is very just like cool, fun vibes. I don't know. I'm gonna put in pictures. Maggie McDonald, Daniel Carolyn, Kenzie Elizabeth, Kenzie Burke, and Kenzie Meads are all in the same realm, if that makes sense. Like, they're all in that, like, new YouTuber, like, soul cycle, girl club, if that makes sense. But yeah, and also Lauren Elizabeth, OG, love her. That is it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed. I don't know, I just thought it'd be, like, interesting, because, I don't know, I always am looking for recommendations for things, so I just thought, why not share my own? So, yeah. Make sure to subscribe if you liked this video. Also, follow my Instagram. It'll be right here. And I will see you guys later.